Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution or the solutions to this problem. We have two x to the power of one over two, which is equal to two x, right? Okay. So from here, to remove this power from here first, we will multiply the power by two. So we have two x to the power of one over two multiplied by two which is equal to 2x in brackets to the power of 2. Now, because I introduced this square here, it has to reflect on the right, okay? Now, this can cancel this. So we have 2x to the power of 1. And that is the same as 2x, right? So here now we have 2 squared, which is 4, and then we have x squared. Simple, isn't it? And then from here, do you know that 4x squared here should be the same thing as or should be equal to 2x? Now bring everything to the left hand side so that if we do that, then 4x squared minus 2x will be equal to 0. What is the common factor? The common factor here is 2x. Then if we open the bracket, then 4x squared divided by 2x, first of all, you can do it in 2, just say 2, okay, 4 divided by 2, 4 divided by 2 will give 2, right? Then x squared divided by x will give 1x, then minus 2x divided by 2x will be 1, and this will be equal to 0. Now, what do I do from here now? We have to apply zero product rule. Okay, and a couple of learners don't really know when to apply this rule. You apply this rule when you are multiplying two expressions to get zero. Okay, so if here is not zero, if here is not zero, we cannot apply zero product rule. Okay, now so we're going to say that it is either 2x is equal to zero or 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, if we continue, our x will be 0 over 2, or 2x will be equal to 1. But the question is, can we really divide 0 by 2? The answer is yes. 0 divided by 2 will give 0. Or on this side, our x will be equal to 1 divided by 2. 1 divided by 2 so that if we continue let's bring the solutions together then our x will be equal to 0 or 1 over 2 remember the 1 over 2 there could be 0 0.5 now fix it back into the problem because the original equation is 2x to the power of 1 over 2 equal to 2x and do not forget that anytime you have anything raised to the power of 1 over 2 is the same as the square root of that thing. So we have square root of 2x, which will be equal to 2x. Okay, anytime you have a number raised to the power of half, it is the square root of the same number. Now, if we put 0 here, automatically we will have the same thing on both left, on, on, on the left hand side and on the right hand side, meaning that x to be equal to 0 is correct as it satisfies the given equation okay now let's put in 1 over 2 and if we do that we have 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 will this be equal to 2 times 1 over 2 let's continue this will go there and we have square root of 1 and then here we have 1 what can you see square root of 1 is what 1 and that is equal to 1 on the right hand side. So we can conclude that x to be equal to 0 or 1 over 2 is satisfying. Thank you for watching.